second video. I'm going to go ahead and do a goodie drop. We're not going to wait a longer time for more stuff to come. Even so, I do have some more stuff coming in. We're going to place another vinegar order out for some stuff. Because, yeah, there's some stuff I need to go back and recollect, you know, such as um, their numbered um, limited editions. So, we got to go ahead and get that. So, we just knock this out so I can put it up. I don't have to worry about it being out because some things just be there and I'm like, have I done this movie already? Did I show it off? <laughs> so it's the way well, it wasn't a, a good game drop, you know. Um, some things I've held off on. We still plan on doing a lot of things, you know. It is what it is. <laughs> um, let's start with the vinegar snoop stuff. They had some stuff on ten dollars. I missed one thing um, because you know I didn't get back to a computer in time uh, in order to place that order. But the ones we did get was the golden arm. We got that for ten dollars. Where can I put this? Yeah, I need some better room because I got stuff everywhere. You'll see when I do the camera flip open. Let's see. We got detention. This always looked interesting, but because you know I I didn't want to spend too much on it. I, I really didn't go for it, but this was on the 10 for 10. Let me scoop that up. The other thing was like a 66 or something with a, a mirror on there. I almost got, you know, got to it, but I thought I was going to be able to get back home in time, and that didn't work out. Um, we did get Sister Sister. That was also $10. So we got three out of the four days, you know, um, the other days they have nothing good there, you know. We went ahead and sidekicks, we finally scooped that bad boy up. I love how it's like a little magnetic opening for it on the side. Open up. Got your nice little booklet. And your movie. Little part side by the bed. There we go. So that's always fun, you know. I uh, yes, it was pricey, you know. Um, I do want to. I I don't have. What was what's the title of it? Um, cloak and dagger. I don't have cloak and dagger yet. Um, I was hoping to drop the price on that one because I I'm not gonna fork over no forty five dollars. You know. Yes, I did spend some money on this one and um uh, Roadhouse when it came out, but. Like I said, at the time, I didn't have much, you know, to get at the time, you know. <laughs> All right. And then we got uh, From Beyond, which was also pricey because it's a 4K. I do have the Screen Factory uh, Collector's Edition. But, I mean, with 4K, I scooped this up. We still didn't get the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 because, once again, some things I can drop full price for. Some I can just wait a little bit longer for a price drop. Which I think would happen, you know. Uh, Flesh for Frankenstein is another thing I waited for a price drop, but you see, they're not dropping that price at all. <laughs> I mean, they did with Death and uh, Wish too. So I mean, I don't know. It's weird how they do uh, price drops with them. Then we scooped the craft up. This was on sale because who wants to pay twenty eight dollars and thirty something on a uh, Screen Factory site? They jumped their prices up, and you gotta pay as soon. I like this. I, I I don't like their practices, you know. They were once my favorite boutique, you know. Uh, with the movies they dropping, they're still my favorite. But at the same time, a lot of stuff I now look at differently, and like I can get from Amazon. They're going to do a price drop um before it comes out. Like still, some of their titles on their site is thirty two dollars. Like why? I don't uh, like their new uh, fifteen hundred exclusive website drops with uh Roger Corman drops and. I mean, their practices have fallen off. Somebody's getting greedy over them, and I'm, I don't appreciate it. But we got the craft with slipcover. I was kind of afraid the slipcover would be missing, but we got this, I, I think, like under 20. So that was awesome. That's that's how I want it, under 20. If That's how I feel all 4K movies should be, uh, under 20. I don't know where they get these $32. It wasn't that price when they first started uh, uh, 4Ks, you know, and... I don't know, man. They're, they're really price gouging. 
the we got Event Horizon. This was already twenty dollars when it came out because it's not with screen no more. It went back to um Paramount. So twenty dollars, I'm a okay. They don't have all the extra goodies like um the collector's edition for the uh, Blu-ray did, but I got the Blu-ray, so that's fine by me. With what's on here, that's fine. I love the Event Horizon even so I hear there was footage cut from uh, when they started going crazy on the video from the uh, other crew. I heard there was some stuff cut from that and they can't find where that went for some odd reason. This I did get from the website, Bubba Hotep. I had to get it for 4K. We got the two posters and we got the exclusive slip cover I want to show that off before I play with the other slip covers I have from them uh, that was fantastic right there last said some things I'm willing to pay for some things I'm not sample we got the child's play ones with the covers but then we didn't get the next three trilogy of Halloween box set I'm still waiting for that to go down in price right now it's $90 I won't get it to a 60 because the standalone three are for 60 total so that's crazy how they want, you know, just a box, an extra $30. That's crazy. But on their website, they want a little bit more. Ha! <laughs> Lost their mind on that. And let's see. We got the dentist. Um, I don't know if I showed this when I first got it off. Uh, but we got the, both movies right there. It's awesome. Like, I mean, man, Vestron Video... I'm, I'm hoping they're going to say, uh, tell us the new stuff that's going to drop for them soon. We went ahead and got Men at Work, MVD. There's still a few times I need to still get in. The kitties damaged some of the slip covers. I got to go back and get those eventually. We didn't get one after Men at Work, but I had to get Men at Work. Just had to get that. We upgraded to the Belly. This was a cheap because they put the, uh, more pricey for the steel book so we just went with the standard and I'm sure I showed this off before but it was just out there so I might as well show it again Street Fighter steel book I love the artwork I love the steel book had to show that off game wise we got Jagged Alliance Rage I like the original Jagged Alliance game so it was ten dollars so I might as well right and so I got mine for 10 they jumped the price back up to 14 so hey. We got something that's been, you know, like, if you know this games and Ideal Factory and a lot of some of these JRPGs got a huge, um, I don't even want to say anthology, but like at the series, it's a whole series of plenty of games, like many, many games. Some are actually like over like a dozen. <laughs> but here we got the Neptunia. And this is Sisters versus Sisters. That's just the case because they made the box different. And because it's sealed, I'm not opening it. I was going to do a video game unboxing, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Right, let's, let's do this little bit where we don't mess things up bad. No Here's what the box looks like. I do apologize for the glare. Back. Unfortunately, some of these boxes I had, I mean, I, could, I couldn't avoid it. Um, one is like bent, like creased pretty badly. And uh, it's still a box. I mean, hey, it's really not badly, but I'm like, it's in the middle. You can see the crease. That's why I say it's badly. And one, this is, I think, I don't know what happened. It just came that way, and they don't replace, unfortunately, you know. Since, like I said, it's sealed, we're not going to open up to see the goodies. Ah, uh, that's that face. And then we got this huge placemat. Hopefully, yeah, you saw that pretty well. Because this thing is huge. I was like, oh, man. This definitely ain't a uh, keyboard. But the box and the mat, unfortunately, has a like a manufacturer smell you know like from a, a manufacturer it, it's, it's kind of got like a almost gasoline smell <laughs> uh, yeah you know 
I don't know. It's something about gasoline. You know, some people got weird fetishes, you know, and just gasoline when you smell it, it's like, oh man, hook that for a good moment. Not to the point you're killing brain cells or coming stupid lives, you know, but like some just got like, man, that's gasoline right there. <laughs> we did get three cards, but I, I put, um, I, let's see, what's what? Because I stopped throwing what I did have around into it. Alright, here we have the January one right there. That's 43, here's 42, which was also January. And then December's Mary Fencer F, which is coming out soon, so I can grab that one as well. And this one is something we had prior, you know. I'm just throwing what I have out there, so it's just going to be out in the opening, and who knows what might happen. It might get stepped on or whatever. Like, I don't have all the cards, you know, but from the games I do get from, I got from, I don't know how some of them get the, the missing months. I don't understand that. I'm definitely not going off eBay where they can charge more for it. That's crazy. Now we're going to show the big boy. And I put it on monthly payment. I didn't want to spend the whole shebang and bang. One day, they had this bad boy for $53 with a 5 cent discount off. It just so happened to be the day I missed it. I was near a computer when they did it. And for the short amount of time, they jumped the price back up. And because it's out of print on the website, you got to wait, you know, whatever month they have it. The guy, is, you know, who runs that, runs his, the, the merchant page for it online, and they jumped the price up to $66, $68. First it was 70 something I mean, like, I don't know, man. Price gouging at its finest. Hate that. So we went ahead, threw it on the payment. For six months, I just can make payments, so I'm I'm good on it. <laughs> uh, finally got the ghost straight one. Like I said, I collect game books. You know, the ones that has good reading, something I can get into. That has some pictures, some good pictures on it. You know. So between this, we got um hardcore gaming 101. And, you know, I got my PSMs right there. I do want Nintendo Power eventually, but they chopped the price on that so badly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look. They had this wrap like it was brand new, but it's not brand new because I can open a book and it's not a... So they took something that was like new, put some wrapping on it and called it brand new. That's crazy, right? But I'm not going to trip because nothing's bent. Nothing is like real bad. I, it's, it's like new. But they put it as new, yeah. So I think the guy who owns it just bought whatever uh, other merchants had it and then chopped the price up and then he just rewrapped it himself. That's just what I think. Accusations, okay? So don't take me for it. That's just how I feel. So let's go ahead and get a good hand and we're going to bring the camera over so you can get a good look. So I apologize. Hopefully you don't see nothing. Okay, yeah, so nothing out of craziness. Let's go ahead and All right, I think that's the best you're gonna see. I apologize for that about the glare on top, but this is just like side scrollers, you know, all the good side scrollers. This is like a good majority of all the main ones, you know. So, hardcore gamer focuses in like um, chapters, you know, like volume one, volume two. This one is more focused on all the main ones put together, and then like there's some pages that's like big. Huge screenshots, and then you got some that just unfolds. Like, here's some that's like bigger than the rest. I mean, there's some that takes up the whole page. Like this here Sky Pilgrim versus the World. Yeah, so I'm just doing quick. I apologize for not showing off much better. I just wanted to do a quick so you can get an understanding of like what it looks like inside. First out that bitmaps were like mostly, you know, just showing off, you know, the cover artwork and that that's that was it, you know. But that's that's somebody else who was doing that. So finally when I saw what uh bitmap was doing a little bit more, I was like, okay, let's let's go ahead and, and get it. 
unfortunately some of these things are like way overpriced in my opinion they're kind of like some of those i uh, was it uh geek line geek line their books are sometimes expensive too especially if you try to look on ebay uh, let's see i was hoping maybe i could show off this this one in front right yeah okay here we go i said you got something that opens up and they got like a much better opening you know some of the i said it's the nostalgia for me so this is what we're going to leave i'm not even going to turn the camera around we're just going to stop it here you know so this is basically all i got this month there's some pretty good stuff in here you know so hopefully you enjoyed this uh good drop here definitely leave some comments some likes definitely hit that bell to subscribe and always enjoy <laughs>